what's up guys and welcome back to the channel i'm back with another settlement survivor video and this time we're going to be talking about the five most important things you need for a successful start now this video will be a general overview of a few points so i'll leave a link down below to my tips and tricks video if you want more detail on about the topics that we're going to be talking about today and i also talk about a few more topics in that video as well so let's just go ahead and get started i already have my town set up but i wanted to point out tip number one is finding a good place to settle right so you want to try to find somewhere where there's not a bunch of mountains around where it's kind of flat and it's near water now with this map i didn't have too many places where there wasn't a bunch of mountains around so i kind of just had to settle in between these four mountains right here but it's pretty decent because it's a flat area as you can see and then we are right by the water here by the river here we got a pond right there so we in pretty good shape tip number two now you're going to start off with 30 settlers right so what you're going to want to do they're going to need some houses and what you want to do is what i like to do rather i like to start off with two houses like this one here this one here and a boarding house now what that does the boarding house can house 24 people and the uh, regular houses can house four people a family of four so that'll pretty much cover what you need in the early game to get your settlers out of the cold and a place to stay now eventually you're going to want to build more houses like i have these two back here to get the people out of this boarding house because if you don't then the people won't uh reproduce and your population will will die which brings me to my next point is population control so you start off with 30 settlers so you don't want to expand too fast but you also don't want to go too slow you want to do it kind of slow and steady right so you want to make sure you build these houses over time so you can have your settlers reproducing and increasing your population at a steady steady rate now you're going to get to a point in the game to where you can build a town hall and you can um, have immigrants come in and you know fill in the gaps that's going to be left by your settlers passing away but you don't want to accept them too fast because once you do that they'll start to eat up all your resources and the same thing if you um increase your own population too fast you build a bunch of houses and your people start to reproduce and reproduce then your resources are going to start to dwindle so you're going to want to keep an eye on those resources so tip number four is resources now if you look up here in the top left you got a resource chart right here and it keeps an eye on all your resources your food your water your medicine your raw materials and stuff like that now you're going to start off with a few resources to begin with but what you're going to those resources are going to start dwindling so what you're going to want to do is build different buildings to replenish those resources so let's already have all my stuff set up so like i said if you want to see me build these see what you need to do to build them then you can check out my other video which will be linked down below in the description and it goes into more detail on how to do all these things but just for the sake of time you want to build a logging camp here and what the logging camp does it plants they plant trees they cut down trees and that gives you the timber that you need for buildings because most of these buildings are built out of wood and you're also going to want to get a where is it where is it? where's my gathering station here it is you're going to want a gathering station what the gathering station does they go out and they get different plants and herbs and stuff like that because what, what you need the herbs for is the medicine over here and what you're going to need for your clinic so when your people get sick they can go to the clinic and get healed uh they keep the peas and wild vegetables they use that kind of stuff for food and such like that so you're going to want to be one of those for your resources you're also going to put down a hunting cabin because what a hunting cabin does the hunter goes out and kills the animals and gets you some meat it gets you some leather so you can make clothes and feathers and stuff like that so that's a very important building as well the next thing you want to going to do is put down the blacksmith because even though your settlers can go out with the tools they start off with and build things those tools as you can see right here you start off with i think i believe it like 40 or something like that they're going to start to go down so you're going to need a blacksmith to replenish those tools as you can see right there we got 46 my production limit is set at 40 so there they keep a steady supply of tools going next thing you want to do is the tailor shop because when the winter time your settlers is going to start to get cold they're going to need clothes to get warm that's one of the important reasons why you need to have a hunting cabin because he goes out and get the leather and then the leather is used at the tailor shop tailor workshop rather to make clothes another thing you're going to want to put down is to manage your food is the fields because what the fields do 
of course you go out the farmers go out and plant seeds cabbage seeds tomato seeds stuff like that that way you can have a variety of different foods that your sellers can eat you're also going to want to put a pasture down because that's just another source of meat and feathers and dried animal dung which you can use for fertilizer they can use that for domestic fuel to keep the houses going which leads me to the next building you want to put down which is a sawmill because what the sawmill does that wood and stuff that your logging camp is chopping down is brought over here to the sawmill and they use that to make fuel and what the fuel does is in the winter time your sellers come over here and grab the fuel take it to their homes and if you see the smoke coming out the smokestack here a chimney whatever you want to call it the fuel is what they're using to keep their houses warm right so that's a very important thing you want to do early off in the game and my final resource management tip i want to give you is uh the warehouse space because you're going to start off with this small warehouse right here and that thing fills up very fast i got to 70 or 80 percent right off the bat so what i want to point out is go ahead and build one or two more i built a smaller one just to start off but probably 10 minutes after i built that one i had to build this bigger one right here so go ahead and build one or two of those just as big as you can get it because you're going to need the space because they're going to fill up very fast for my fifth tip i want to point out happiness and health now happy settlers and healthy settlers are efficient workers and to keep those settlers happy and healthy the things you're going to want to put down i want to point out the clinic for number one that's for your health now if you look over here to my left where i got my cursor pointed you can see the image of a broken bone and that's a citizen that's injured and what happens is that citizen while they still are able to go out and work that citizen will not be as efficient as he could be because he's injured so he has to come over here to the clinic get his health back up and that makes him healthy and more much more efficient when it comes to the jobs and tasks that i have him to do now also to get your health or happiness sorry up you want to build a church because you got the settlers in the town and it has a an area of uh reach there area of effectiveness as i want to say and what that does is that helps increase the happiness of your spiritual citizens now not all everybody is spiritual in real life but in this game you know they are so that helps to bring their happiness up and there's also other buildings like a distillery and other things like that that you can get their happiness up with you also want to build a cemetery because once your settlers pass away it makes them happy to have the somewhere for them to uh to bury the dead so that's a way to get the happiness and health up as well now for a bonus tip i want to point out development now you have the development tree up here so what you want to do to get those uh those points or technology points that you can see to get those faster you want to build a school over here and you want to build a research institute now the research institute is what boosts your uh, the speed that you get the uh, technology points and the school on the other hand just makes um educated citizens and in turn makes them much more efficient when it comes to just doing their jobs and different variety of tasks that you would have them do anyway guys that was a quick five most important things you need to do for a successful start if you want a more in-depth tips and tricks video be sure to check out the video i linked down below in the description i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in if you like what you see be sure to hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you want to see more if there's anybody out there who's listening who would like to accept the lord jesus as their lord and savior i just want to say a simple prayer with you and you can be saved say lord jesus i repent i turn away from sin and i choose to follow you and you said in your word that if i believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that jesus christ is the son of god then i can be saved amen i want to congratulate you on making one of the best decisions that you can ever make in your life the road ahead will not be easy but nothing worth fighting for ever is so remember guys love god and game on see you on the next one peace out